Hello, I hope you all are doing so well. Thank you so much for being here. So this energy, um, really ramping up right now. What I keep experiencing is this sense of a perfect storm. And what I mean by that is that I can feel, well, mostly when I get a bit off balance, what I feel is that sense of this movement, this sense of kind of swirling around me. Um, and then that sense of not quite knowing where I am and all of it. What I've been recognizing that I continuously need to do is to stay connected to myself and to stay grounded. And I think this is something we've heard talked about for quite a long time about needing to know our truth, stay connected to that, to disconnect from the external reality. And yet now it feels like it. we really cannot not be doing that or we get really spun out you know there's this thing about truth and truth needing to be disclosed and the truth having to come out and how everything needs to kind of break down um, and the reason and the way that's going to happen is to have the truth exposed um, for myself and this is just totally personal um, and this is just why I want to share this in case anyone else is experiencing this what I have noticed is that none of that matters to my sense of stability. In fact, the more that I watch videos or read or consume information, um, whether it's the truth or not, what, it doesn't matter. It, it seems to be everyone's opinion about what's happening anyway that it does not actually feel good and it does not support me. And so the conclusion I seem to be coming to is that this is about our inner truth um, and that that is the only thing right now that at least from my experience has kept me feeling stable and secure. Um, of course, everyone is going through all kinds of different things, right? So this may not apply to the majority of people. Um, and I'm, but I'm only sharing this because it seems to be that I keep finding myself in the situation of, I feel secure and then either something will pop in. It's like all these other things that I have to interact with in the world, right? Whether it be my kids or friends or clients or family or, having to interact because I have to go to the store, whatever it might be, right? All these different things bring with it this other kind of layer of energy. And so in some ways, I really feel like this is a, I wanna say like a training ground, right? This is really defining who I am and what I am when I bump up to other things. So in relation to those things, right? I know there's this big thing with Venus going on and I know a lot of what I have read is saying about, oh, your relationships, your relationship to this or that. What I am finding is that it's actually the truth of my relationship to my own self and where have I identified myself as being something really other than what I truly am. Now, again, this is where the energy gets a bit tricky, right? Because the things that we have felt that we are, the things that we have felt inside, because it's been there ever since we've been born, it truly feels like a part of us. And yet these things that are deeply connected to our ancestral ranges that are in our DNA, that have been trigger points for us ever since we can remember, these are the things that are really being stripped out right now. So my experience, especially last week, was incredibly intense. And what I was brought to was deep, deep wounding from my childhood, but it's wounding that carried over into all of my other kind of interactions and relationships. And what happened was there was a massive resolve and I don't quite know how, I don't, quite know what exactly occurred to bring this to the surface. Although as I'm looking back, and this is the point I want to make about this month and about this, like from where we are until about mid January right now, it really is this transitional bridge and this opportunity to really feel deeply into ourselves and allow these, well, the word that wanted to come through is these insecure feelings, these places where we're not quite sure, these places where we feel like we've struggled and bobbled around in here for quite a while, allow those to come to the surface and look at them 
directly and not in relation to anything else that is outside of us, but how we feel about it. Because this is the truth inside of us that needs to be uncovered, which has been covered up by all these other things that feel very, very painful. And I'll just give you an example. Um, so, but I don't want to forget this, this place that I want to go to with this, which is about um, recognizing this last week has brought me to this place where I have been able to recognize now for so long, I felt like a victim, right? All these things happened in my life, my divorce, death, all kinds of things that really brought me a lot of pain and suffering. And I've been looking back on my life and saying, this really sucks. Why am I here? I'm still struggling, all these things. There was a moment of clarity in the midst of all this kind of brutal awareness I was having about the stuff that I was holding inside of me, these pains because of the way I was raised. But again, that comes through the lineage, that comes through the ancestry, right? So the wounds that I acquired because of that and how I brought it into my current relationships, all kinds of relationships, my relationship to people, children, money, food, whatever it might be, right? It's in everything, this energy. It's, a, it's really a barrier is how I start to feel it, right? It's like a karmic ancestral DNA attachment, but it, it feels like this kind of static. Um, once you start to see it, you recognize it as a static, right? But until then, it just feels like this thing where you're like, how come I can't? How come every time I try, right? And we end up in the same place. So with what occurred last week, I was able to stop for a moment and recognize I had a moment of, wait a second, I remember that moment where I felt this energy move through me and where I actually made a decision and I said, I actually kind of declared, I said, this is what I want in my life. This is what I want. And ever since that moment, what I didn't recognize and what I'm saying now is that, oh my goodness, I can see where the universe has conspired to bring me exactly what I asked for. And yet in order for that thing to come, all of this other stuff had to break down in the meantime, right? So the marriage, the job, the career, right? Other relationships, all kinds of stuff, right? My relationship to money, my relationship to food, my relationship to my body, all of it got turned upside down so I could see it more clearly for what it was. And yet this whole time I've been in this victim mentality of why did all this stuff happen? And yet I'm at this point in this situation in my life now where I actually have everything that I have always wanted. It may not bringing me the may not be bringing me the abundance that I thought I would have when I was at this point, right? But that's another issue for another time, perhaps. But also maybe not, right? Because it's like, where am I? I'm actually in a place where I feel like I can breathe. I do feel safe. I do feel like I have a right to my own thoughts and my own feelings, which is something I never had in the past, right? So the things that perhaps we have asked for, um, whether, I don't know, are we some other kind of soul, right? Where it's like, we're not just asking for material abundance. We're asking for these deeply heartfelt kind of, I just want to feel okay. I just want to feel joy. I just want to feel happy. I just don't want to feel like I'm being bogged down, right? Sometimes we ask for things that you really can't necessarily measure in a material way. And so this is what I'm saying. It's kind of about looking back now because as I've said, we get two lifetimes in this lifetime, right? And we are at this point where we can look back and and start to understand it's not about the physical material things necessarily, right? But where are we in terms of feeling free in our own minds, in our own bodies, in our own energy? And the more that I feel that and tap into it, it's like there is a huge change, almost miraculous to the way that I felt so trapped before, right? So this is the energy of it. The energy of it is here. We've worked through so much. And of course, then the physical always 
rearranges itself, right, to meet the energy. So give yourself a bit of a break here and feel how far you've come, how far you have, well, how much you've accomplished really internally, right? And the changes and shifts that you have made internally because that truly is what matters even if the outside world is not quite matching this yet it's huge and it's massive and i really want to encourage you to honor this place that you're in right now because what i find myself keep um having this tendency to do is to compare my physical reality right and every time i do that that's when i start to feel really really crappy and i get a bit confused because i'm like but when I, I am okay, like I feel okay. I don't feel worried about everything in my life breaking down anymore. Like I used to be so afraid my car would break down. I used to be afraid the furnace was gonna break. The sky was gonna fall on my roof. And like just this constant fear of everything going wrong and breaking down. And that's not there anymore. There is a huge sense of peace. This it, and is just as I close my eyes, I can see like the sun coming over the horizon, right? This event horizon of energy that has really come in, that has anchored in, really it's those energetic desires that we have held for such a long time, perhaps even unknown to our own selves. And this is really what I'm, I'm trying to say, right? Is that take a look back. And I, I, I've decided to do kind of an impromptu workshop on Sunday to really kind of dive into this a little bit more. So if you're interested, please feel free to join me there um, Sunday at 2 p.m. Central. But exactly about this, right? Taking a step back and looking at what has really been going on in our lives. As I said about the pandemic, right? It really gave us an opportunity to clarify and it really was providing us this container to pull all this stuff up to the surface, to really anchor in to our own energy. As I was driving today, I was thinking about how this really is such a blessing, right? We have felt the weight of all the stuff that is not truly us all of our lives. The other part of the problem though, was that when we would go out into the world, when we would connect with society, we felt this, negativity, this heaviness, and then that added layer of not meeting society's expectations, which almost like that nail in the coffin, right? But that has been removed. And I was thinking about how grateful I am for all the people who are doing this groundwork, right? Who are pointing out these, let's say, obvious areas where things are just not adding up anymore, right? Um, pointing out the obvious control that is happening through the structures and systems in which we live in, the blatant, blatant control, right? What a gift, because that enables me to not have to keep questioning myself, to not have to keep going back to square one and saying, yeah, I know I feel this, but, but it doesn't make sense because when I go out there, like this insecurity, right? Always having that kind of opposite energy re-impressed to us no matter where we went who we interacted with, what we did. So see this time for the gift that it is and really just focus on your own self, the hopes and dreams you had as a child. And again, I think for most of us, it's not necessarily these materialistic things, right? It's more about the sensations that we wanted to feel in our body, the more about the freedom that we desired to feel outside of the circumstances we felt caught inside of. We've had a massive wave of energy come through to really assist with pulling all of this out. And the way that I experienced it was really like something got stripped out of my body. And I've been hesitant to really talk about it because I've been kind of waiting to see, am I gonna get triggered again? Am I gonna get triggered again? Because. Of course, for me, it showed up most strongly in my relationship, and that's always where, especially like in intimate partnerships, right, we are shown most clearly the stuff that we're holding inside. Um, but I have had some really kind of continuous triggers. What I am finding since last week is that the emotional charge that was connected to those trigger points 
has been released out. And this has been kind of a subject that I feel like I've been studying and questioning for a very long time, right? Like why does the nervous system do the thing that it does? I mean, I understand how the nervous system works. I understand how the brain works in conjunction, right? But that really seemed to be the key, the fact that we could not get to the seeds of the root of these wounds in order to dislodge that charge that would trigger us into these spirals, right? And that, for whatever reason, seems to have dissipated greatly. So there is much less of this kind of frantic, scattered, roaming type feeling in the energy fields right now. I do feel from an energetic standpoint that these are energies that obviously they are not original to the Earth planet, energies that were brought here, systems that were brought here, um, that we probably had a connection to in other times and places. Um, and that's why it's affected us so greatly because we were here to clear through those. Um, that's just a side note. But more than that, I just wanna kind of share my overall human experience of, of what this has been like because there has been a huge release. And so again, I would kind of, if you're, um, there's a bit of this limbo feeling, right? Like we can feel all of that and still kind of like trying to settle into the center, right? Like, where is my core? Here is your core and it's here. And there's a massive opportunity to connect to it and to own it and to know this as the truth of what you always felt, even in childhood a long time ago, right? To call that back up as your truth. It's a bit of a destabilizing time. I, I do know that the, the energy is very, um, it's kind of like the weather we've been having, right? These kind of wind storms where it's like, it'll kick up, there'll be a really strong force and then it'll slow down again, right? So it's like these intermittent um, kind of exchanges of energy that are happening right now that can really kind of topple you, I suppose, if you're not, I don't wanna say on guard, right? But Take this time to breathe, to feel this inside of your core. Like I'm feeling it so strongly in the root, strongly in this abdominal range, right? The solar sacral, all the way kind of from the sternum down. And this is where it really seems to be connecting and hitting into. So um, it's quite profound what has occurred over this past week. Um, really, really life-changing. Um, clearings that I have experienced so I hope you're picking up on some of this too but just a reminder to stay connected to yourself if you're feeling a bit disoriented shut out everything else this is what I keep finding myself having to do it's not about isolating it's not about disconnecting from the world it's about honoring what I feel on the inside and that's just one other point I want to make to you because there has been a massive activation in terms of, I keep seeing it between the throat and the brainstem. Now, my personal experience was that I physically had to speak my truth. And it wasn't about like, here's my truth. Everyone needs to hear it. It happened more in the course of a couple of conversations where I was exchanging, um, let's say, information or having a conversation about things that had, had in, happened in the past, right? And in one instance, someone was saying, well, you know, they were actually apologizing. They were saying, I'm sorry, you know, you had said this and I did this instead. And I said, you know, I don't even actually remember that. It's not really a thing for me. I don't hold any ill will or ill feelings around that. But I will tell you that my experience of our relationship was this. This is how I felt. And then the other individual said, wow, I had no idea that's how you experienced or that how, that's how it felt for you, right? And it wasn't about my way is more valid than your way or your way is more valid than my way. It was just this open exchange of each of our truths and that's all it was. And the healing that came through as a result of that was incredibly profound. So take that if it's helpful. Um, that's all I really want to say. There is massive support here to clear things out. It doesn't have to be this sit down, 
really intense conversation, right? But I am finding that the more people are open about the truth, which the truth is only truly how you experienced it, how it felt for you. And sometimes it's hard to even acknowledge that truth for our own selves, right? And that's what I found. I had a really hard time saying, you know, in this experience, I felt like I was in prison. And it felt really bad for me to have to tell this person that my experience being around them felt like that. But it's like, there was also this, like, it's it was necessary for both of us to release something, right? So it's not about hurting someone's feelings or even feeling like, we each have to have this kind of equal balance in the energy. It's it's truly, purely about what is inside there. And until we can feel that, acknowledge it, and actually express it out in some way, it will kind of stay stuck there, right? So whatever way that ha has to happen for you, right? If there isn't a person or a conversation to be had, you know, maybe it's just writing it out, but it's being brutally, brutally honest it's not about being mean, right? That's not what brutal honesty is. Brutal honesty is the core of what is that feeling. It was really hard for me to admit that I felt trapped. Like that to me felt so disempowering, but that was my experience of it. And I had to own my experience of that feeling in order to be able to release it, right? So I don't really know what truth means, right? Like, what is that word even? People are talking about it in terms of disclosure and all kinds of things like that. That has not been my experience of it. My experience of it has been really looking and honoring what actually was felt in that moment, in that time, and neutralizing it. Not giving any charge, is it good or bad? It doesn't matter, it's what it was and it has to be honored, it has to be seen in order for it to dissipate and be let go of. So that's all I really wanted to share. I hope you're all doing so well. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Take good care.